how did the how did the move come to Everton? How, who got in touch with you? Was it Blackburn who approached you and said we've had an approach from Everton? How did it, how did it come about? Yeah, it, it was at a time when uh, we were going for promotion, and I said to the chairman of Blackburn Rovers, I said, I'm, I'm not interested in talking to anybody until the end of the season. Mm. Because I, I wanted Blackburn to, to be a first division team when I left. Promotion in two seasons on the trot. Um, unfortunately, we, we missed out on the last game of the season. Down the, we won at Bristol Rovers and Swansea won at Preston. Mm. So um, I, was, I was leaving. I knew I was leaving. But they, you know, I was, I was, how could you turn down Everton? No, no. You know, it, 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 it was just such, such a massive club and, and so many fun memories. You know, as a player, I thought, well, fantastic. Mm. And the chairman of Blackburn said, why don't you wait for a couple of years, you know, and uh, have more experience? I said, well, somebody may go into Everton and be successful yeah. and I won't get the offer. Yeah, exactly. The expectation levels at both clubs must, must have been massive difference, really, between Blackburn and Everton. Well, at, at that particular time, I mean, Everton were fin finished about 17th down in, in, in the table. So, I mean, you know, they, as, a, as a big club, they, they made a decision to... Uh, Gordon Lee was no longer mm. going to be the manager and um, we've got to find one. So, you know, I was very fortunate that they, they came for me. Did you find it hard at first? Well, because people I, talk about people talk about uh, well, before I came the the inchy goal at Oxford you were you were you were struggling at the time and that changed the course. Well, I don't believe in that. I don't believe that one yeah. goal changed Everton Football Club changed you as a manager. He don't do that. In my no, eyes. it was difficult at the start because I mean when, when we go back to Catrick with the balance and the team and whatever and and I I, I looked at the Everton squad and there was about six centre halves about eight central midfield players, one left wing, mm. nobody on the right hand side. It was just so unbalanced. Mm. And, I, and I was remembered of the Magnificent mm. Seven or Magnificent Eight, wasn't it? That, yeah, that, that I did sign when I went in there. And they, they, they said, we want changes. You know. but, I, but I had to look at it and say, well, where are the changes? Mm. Now, my first signing was Neville South also. They can't say mm. anything about that because he became the best goalkeeper yeah. in the world yeah. for me. And he, you know, he was absolutely fantastic. But I, I brought players in, or brought players in, to to fill it as a balance. Mm. Now I, I knew we went up to about eight. I think we finished in the, in the first season, and I knew it wasn't going to be good enough to win things. Yeah. But you you, you took one step at a time, mm. and that was my first step, and then. Then you go out and um, you try and improve on what you brought in. Mm. How, how did Neville come about? Because to have a it was it. It it was funny really because um, I had a friend who had a pub in Landudno. That's a shock. Yep. <laughs> I had friends all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he, Norman Jones, his name was. And he had the Neville pub in Landudno. Right. Believe it or not. And. Neville Southall's dad used to drink in the pub. And he called me. I was at Blackburn at the time. All right, yeah. And he, and he, he called me and he said, um, there's a player playing for Winsford United, goalkeeper. He says, you must come and have a look at him. So I thought, yeah, all right. And went down there. He was absolutely magnificent. Yeah. No, not often you can go and watch one goalkeeper. No. Or, or a goalkeeper and say yes on one on one on game, one game. Yeah. yeah, but I, but I did, and he went to Bury for six thousand pounds. Now I, I didn't need a, a goalkeeper at Blackburn. They wouldn't they wouldn't let me sign another one. Mm. I had two senior goalkeepers, but when I went to Everton, I, I, I wanted to clear out certain uh, certain goalkeepers and thought, well, I'll, I'll go to Bury. Mm. I think Jim Harley was the manager there at the time. Right. And from six thousand pounds to Bury from Winsford, it was one hundred and fifty thousand pounds from Bury to Everton. Right. And I think that well, we just talked about it. It was phenomenal. I mean, I can honestly say that I don't remember 
Neville Southall costing us a goal. Is that right? And that, that, that is true. Oh. That is true. Well, I know I, the ambassador Graham Stewart was an ambassador with me and I have to travel in with him, unfortunately, every day. <laughs> he reckons he were the best signing you've ever made, but surely Neville must be the best signing you've ever made. Is, is this live? <laughs> 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 Neville's got to be, got to be without best. a doubt. Yeah. With, without a doubt. Yeah. I mean, fortunate enough. I mean, there was some very good signings. I mean, they they, they came off. Um, he, he likes a brace. Well, Reedy was mm. a gamble. Andy Gray was Andy a gamble. Gray. Yeah. But I mean, we had two great. Why, why were they a gamble? Because they're, they're injuries. Previous injuries. Yeah. Previous yeah. injuries. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. But they all had medis uh, medicals. Yeah. And the doctor said, OK, because you're always guided by those people. Um, how, many, how many games did you play the previous season and this, that and the other? Mm. We had to stop Andy Gray training. Yeah. You know, just have a little jog, yeah. Andy. Don't be blasting balls in the back of the net, you know, because his knees were dodgy. Reedy, Reedy was injured early on in a reserve game at Newcastle. So I thought, oh, well, you know, that, that's a mistake. Mm. But Reedy was absolutely brilliant because when he came back after the injury, he didn't go into block tackles to affect the knee. Mm. He pinched balls. Right, yeah. He, he read where the, the ball was supposedly going from yeah. the opposition player. Mm. And he, he nicked in and got them. Mm. So there was no crunching tackles and... and uh, Oh, he had a fantastic spell with us. When you talk about Neville Southall signing, mm. I think I've got to mention Kevin Sheedy on that one. Yeah, well, oh, without a doubt. I, a big, big mate of mine. Love him to death, Sheeds, and I, what a left foot. Not only I a think, left foot, but what a football player. Oh, I, I think that um, really, when you look at the old footage, mm. you, you see how many times he was involved in either making a goal or scoring a goal. Mm. I think I think it was absolutely unbelievable. I mean, it, you know, I mean, he didn't get the chance at Liverpool. He was only playing League Cup matches, apparently, and, uh, and um, went to look at him at Preston in a reserve game with right. Colin, with yeah. Colin Harvey. And I, I was a little bit sceptical in terms of his work rate. <laughs> I used to tell him that every week. Did you? Yeah. Why, why, why did he need no, to work no, no. when he... <laughs> he wouldn't take notice of you? <laughs> didn't exactly. take notice of no, me either. No, you're right. <laughs> so, uh, no, Colin, Colin says, let's, let, let's go for him. Yeah. And, I, and when I said to Sheeds, I said, um, I wasn't happy about your work rate, you know, at Preston in the reserve game. He says, no, I'm a first team player. Is that what he said? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. There's Fair a, enough. There's no, there's no... I said, well, you know, if I sign you, you're in the first team. Yeah. Yeah. Is there is there any players that you missed out on that you would have liked to have signed for Everton Football Club around that time? My, my first one, when I went there the first time, um, I went to West Brom for Brian Robson. Right, yeah. Um, but I think, I think the manager had different ideas mm. because he moved to Man United. And, right, and, exactly. And, yeah. But uh, I, I remember playing against Robbo several occasions. Oh, what I, 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 you know, I, I think I thought the, the first signing is important mm. when you move to a club, um, and I thought he was the one. Yeah. Now it wouldn't have been the magnificent seven or eight or whatever yeah. if, if I'd signed him because the money would have gone. Mm. Right. But I thought that he was probably the, the, the best player I could possibly go and get. But, uh, and uh, he's, he's the kind of player that Evertonians would have loved. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because they, they they love a bit of passion, they love a title, they love people getting forward scoring. Yeah, but goals, then you've, and he comes you, into that category. Then you've got to accept the other ten that you've got. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, no. So, it's, but it's I, right. I did go for him. 